All right, everybody, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And this morning, I'm out, I'm out here at uh, Crowdell Lake here in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Man, it's a beautiful morning, as you can see behind me. Um, we got 66 degree water temperature. It's uh, about 55, 56 degrees out here. Um, I don't know how long we'll get the fish. We're supposed to have storms moving in around one o'clock or so. So we're gonna get after it and see what we can do. And man, it's top water time. So I'm gonna keep it simple this morning. Got my favorite whopper plopper tied on, uh, Strike King Bleeding Elite buzz bait, and a sick trick worm in um, lime truce color to follow it up with in case uh get a blow up on top water and and it misses for some reason but i'm gonna start off this whopper plopper and just head down this rip rap bank see if we can get a bite Got one. Not very big, but it's the first one of the day. Are you kidding me? It's a daggone sunfish. <laughs> a green sunfish on a whopper plopper. Oh, I was lucky to get that fish in. Mouth's all tore up. Ah, it's squirting everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. They're a green sunfish on a whopper plopper. Alright. Six inches long. <laughs> Well, back in the lake it goes. Oh, gosh! Right at the boat. Almost. Don't you do it. <sighs> Trying to keep him from jumping. Got him. Keeper bass number one for the day on the whopper plopper. Chunky little dude. <laughs> back to back cast, I caught that green sunfish a minute ago. And on the very next cast, after I turned it loose, I get this bass. 
Oh, I love springtime. <clears throat> Damn, he wasn't getting off. All right, here we go. All right. Get some measurements and weight on him. Fourteen and a quarter inches. Ah, come on. One pound, seven ounces. All right. This is starting out to be a good morning. All right, we'll go ahead and get this fish turned loose. Back into Crowdell Lake. Okay. There we go. Boy, folks, that was fun. That's fish on back-to-back -back cast. I caught that uh, green sunfish first, released it. Very next cast, 14 and a quarter inch bass. Weighed uh, a pound seven ounces on this, uh, I know it colored, uh, Whopper Plopper 90. So we're gonna keep on uh, going down this riprap bank. I'm not doing anything fancy or special, just Paralleling the rip rack, rip wrap, paralleling the rip wrap. Yeah, easy for me to say. Getting this bait as close to the rip wrap as I can. Yeah, Go down here in the corner in this last little bit of shade. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, yeah, it's about the same size as the last one I got. Ah, don't you do that. Ah, let's get this thing in here. Man, that's a fat little thing. Another one on the whopper plopper, folks. Not nearly as big as that first one, but. Yeah. Now down here in the corner of the lake, uh, the trees are leafing out pretty good, so there's some shade down here. And uh, thought I'd try one last little bit of top water fishing for the morning in this last shady place. And I got me a fish. All right. Eleven and seven eighths inches. Well, but at least it's another fish. All right, we'll go ahead and turn this little guy loose. Oh, almost dropped my phone. Oh, 
Alright. Now turn this little guy loose now. Got one. Get in here. Gosh, look at this little thing. Ah, it fell off. Hey, but it's fish. Oh, come here. Ah. <laughs> Caught this little guy on a half ounce red eye shad. <laughs> Gosh, that, that fish probably ain't even eight inches long, but man, he smoked it. There wasn't no doubt. Nine inches long. <laughs> oh gosh, that's crazy. All right, but they can't all be big ones. All right, there he goes back. What in the world? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Uh, uh, hook the gizzard shad right in the chin. <laughs> On a red eye shad. Oh, that's funny. It's right, it just got it in the mouth. Come through the chin and out the mouth. That's funny. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a fish. Get in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Got one on the chick magnet this time. That's fish number six for today. Easy now. Well, he had a hook in his mouth, but it just fell out. But luckily he was hooked in the gill, gill plate too. Sexy shag colored, uh, or no, Sexy Shad 2.0. That's the first fish I've caught on that color. Sexy Shad 2.0. Strike King Chick Magnet. Eight and a half inches. <laughs> well, it's another fish, number six for today. All right, we'll go ahead and turn it loose. All right. Oh, there we go. That fish clobbered it. Gosh, I can't keep up with him. Oh, it's just a little daggone dink. Get in here. Woo! Bigger than the last one. Man, he knocked the fire out of it. Whew. 
Another one on the chick magnet. Sexy Shad 2.0. Man, I thought that was a better fish when it first hit it. Because, man, he clobbered it. But that's fish number seven for today so far. Ten and a half inches. All righty. Well, that right, wind's blowing me into the bank. All right, we'll go ahead and turn this little dude loose. Hopefully this one will jump like last one did. It did. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video from here at uh, Crowdell Lake, uh, here in Point Pleasant, West Virginia for the afternoon. Um, it's about 25 after one, and uh, behind me it looks okay, but we got weather moving in that you can't see from behind the camera, so I thought I'd go ahead and wrap it up. I had a pretty decent day as far as numbers. I just wish they could have been bigger. Um, caught the first three fish this morning. <laughs> Um, a green sunfish, a uh, 14 and a half inch bass, and another bass just under 12 inches on this, uh, I know it colored, uh, River to Sea Whopper Plopper 90. And uh, basically I was just paralleling the riprap there along that shoreline. And uh, yeah, I had several blow up on it and miss, but uh, I did manage to catch three on the Whopper Plopper. And uh, I was fishing my Whopper Plopper on my Lose Mock Smash combo. It's a seven foot two, uh, medium heavy action with a fast tip. And uh, the reel is 7.5 to one gear ratio. And I have it spooled with a 50 pound test uh, vicious braid because this is my mainly my top water and frog rod. So that was the first three fish on that. And then uh, as the wind got up, I thought, well, I'll try a lipless crankbait. And I ended up catching two fish on uh, this uh, chrome and blue uh, half ounce Strike King Red Eye Shad. Uh, got it equipped with the oversized uh, Mustad KVD Elite treble hooks and um, caught a bass, a little bass and actually caught a gizzard shad through the mouth with one of these hooks. But I was fishing my Red Eye Shad on my Lose Xfinity Pro rod. It's um, seven foot four, medium heavy action with a fast tip and the reel is a Mark Rose signature reel. And I have it spooled with um, 20 pound test vicious fluorocarbon. And then the last two fish I caught was on uh, Strike King Chick Magnet. Uh, this one is uh, Sexy Shad 2.0. And I have all 13 colors and now I've caught fish on 11 out of the 13 colors. So I caught two on this one today. And uh, they weren't real big, but man, that one hit it really good. And uh, I was fishing my chick magnet on my Lou's Classic Speed Stick Combo. It's six and a half foot medium action. Uh, the reel's got 6.4 to one gear ratio, and I have it spooled with uh, 10 pound test vicious fluorocarbon. So that was my day, caught seven fish, and uh, gonna pack it up and get out of here before the storms come in. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my trash cleanup done too. But I uh, uh, hope you all like this video. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate if you could give it a like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I'll be out soon getting another video done. And I appreciate everybody watching.